We've all seen a Newton's Cradle before, but what if I told you, with just a handful of magnets, we could transform this into this? Newton's Cannon. To explain what's going on here, we need to use two key concepts. The first we're going to use is conservation of momentum. Momentum is defined as the product of mass and velocity of an object. If we have our magnet with the three ball bearings attached, and we have another ball bearing travelling towards it with momentum P, there will be a collision. And because momentum is conserved, the momentum before and after the collision must be the same. Therefore, the ball bearing on the end will move away with momentum P. In our experiment, we began with three ball bearings attached to each magnet, and a fourth ball bearing being held away from the magnet slightly. This ball bearing had magnetic potential energy, EP. When we let go of the ball bearing, the magnetic attraction turns the potential energy into kinetic energy. Then, because energy is conserved, most of the energy from the first ball bearing is transferred to the last. However, a little bit is transferred as heat and sound. This ball bearing then approaches the second magnet and set of ball bearings with kinetic energy. However, it does still have magnetic potential energy. Then the same steps from before are repeated, and a new ball is ejected with even more energy than the first. And these steps repeat for each magnet, giving more and more energy to the final ball bearing. Because momentum relies on mass, one ball hitting causes one ball to escape. Two balls hitting causes two balls to escape. 